Aloha everyone, this is Senator Maisie Hirono. I'm really happy to be joining all of you in the Tsuru Rising project to bring Asian Americans together in these very not normal times. And I particularly want to, of course, uh, commend the organizers who are bringing together, I hope, thousands and thousands of like-minded people in solidarity to speak out for social justice and a special shout out and aloha to all of the survivors of the uh, incarceration, the 120,000 Japanese Americans who were illegally incarcerated during World War II and their families. Thank you for, for raising your voices because you know of what it is like to be the target of an unconstitutional, unjust, illegal act. One of the most harmful policies of this administration uh, is to separate the children at the border and the detention facilities where they hold families uh, for indeterminate lengths of time. And these facilities should be closed. The better way to, to help our asylum seekers is to provide them legal counsel and, and to find places where they can stay within our country. We know that this can be done, but sadly this administration picks the most harmful ways to to deal with the, with human beings who are coming to our country with nothing more than a desire to make a better life for themselves. And so many of, of the people in our country, that is how we all got here, including myself. There is much work that we can do, and I thank you for all of you raising your voices to get this done. And these are times when we have a president sitting in the White House who is very anti-immigrant, who is a race baiter, who lies to the American people every single day. And in the midst of a pandemic, rather than focusing on what we can do to ensure the safety of workers and, uh, and the American public, he is uh, going on a rampage, trying to, uh, trying to get the National Guard, the federal police, and the active military to be against peaceful protesters. And this is why we need to join together to raise our voices. We all watched what happened uh, when the crowd in front of the White House was cleared with tear gas and uh, uh, other methods used by the, by the law enforcement people there to, to clear the way so the president could strut to a church for a photo op. Those are the kind of priorities of this president. Now more than ever, as I said, we need to join together. This president, as General Mattis has said, has spent the last three years dividing the country and he continues to do so. He should be calming the troubled waters, not adding more fuel to the flames. And we live in a country where prejudice and racism is not far below the surface. And Japanese Americans have experienced the brunt of that kind of racism. And even today, of course, with the pandemic, there is an increased number of, of harassment and attacks on Asian Americans because, again, we have a president who has deemed this virus to be the China uh, virus and members of his administration have talked about this virus as the Kung flu. And there are all kinds of efforts to focus our anger on China to take away from the fact that this president has been totally inadequate and incompetent in his response to dealing with this pandemic. We also know that the pandemic is having a disproportionate impact on communities of col color and uh, blacks. We need to come together to raise our voices. If we care about racism in our country and doing thing, the, the things we need to do to, to end racism, I realize it's not easy, but we can lend our voices to that. If we care about environmental justice, social justice, educational equality, healthcare equality, if we care about all those things, we need to come together and vote. We have a choice to make. This is not a time for us to sit back and say, well, voting doesn't matter. That, that is absolutely the wrong thing to do. So we care, 
about racist attacks on our own community and other community. We care about what's going on with, with workers. We care about what's happening uh, with the pandemic and the disproportionate impact on communities of color. We care about what is going on with uh, the lack of a sense of urgency to do another COVID build uh, to address the needs of workers in our communities. If we care about all those things, I, I ask you, to take individual responsibility and do something about it if you care about all those things. And the most fundamental thing we can do as individuals is to vote. If you would like to see four more years of this chaos, this race baiting, incompetent, corrupt president and administration, then don't vote. But if you wanna make that change, you have to vote. That is the most important message that I have, aside from, yes, we need to raise our voices very strongly against the kind of racism and divisiveness that is occurring in our country. I'm glad that we're doing pseudo rising because I have a, a crane folding project in my own office. People have been coming to my office to see me. I have four-star generals, I have ambassadors, I have uh, DACA participants all kinds of people from Hawaii who, when they come to see me in Washington, D.C., they fold cranes. I have thousands of cranes. I have a crane installation in my office, and we add to that installation every day. And that is uh, to, uh, to really reflect on the meaning of folding cranes. And when we fold a thousand cranes, at least, then the Kamisama, the gods, will grant us a wish. And our wish is truly for a country that comes together at a time of its moment of extreme divisiveness. And it doesn't have to be this way. And it won't be this way if we come together. So if any of you feel like folding cranes in addition to adding to the crane, uh, the pseudo rising project, feel free to send your cranes to my office and we can add them to my crane installation in my office in DC. I stand with you. I will continue to raise my voice. I will continue to fight for social justice alongside all of you. Take care everyone, be kind, mahalo.